It's a very defeating feeling when we want to get things done, but feel completely drained. Luckily, there is an ever-growing body of research that suggests nutrition and our food choices can actually help fight fatigue during the day. Additionally, they can help us sleep more quickly and soundly at night. Fatigue can be brought on by different causes, such as a decrease in physical activity, allergies, or diabetes. However, today, we're specifically going to focus on how fatigue can be brought on and resolved by our food and beverage choices. Therefore, I and one of our dietitian team members thoroughly explored research papers on the correlation between nutrition and fatigue. We've distilled the scientific findings into simpler terms, which we'll present in today's video. Additionally, we've crafted an easily understandable article to complement this video. Furthermore, if you wish to delve further into the topic, I'll provide the link below. However, for the time being, let's proceed directly into the discussion. Our bodies have an internal clock that impacts when we sleep and wake up, and this is called our circadian rhythm. Our circadian rhythm is very strongly linked to dark and light cycles. So when it's lighter outside, we tend to feel more awake, and when it's dark, we tend to feel more tired. Now, there's an emerging field of science called chrononutrition, which studies how our eating behaviors can also influence the circadian rhythm. For example, some recent studies have shown that eating irregularly can throw our circadian rhythm out of sync, which can reduce the quality and duration of our sleep. Therefore, ensuring that we eat at more or less the same times each day can actually help to synchronize our sleep-wake cycle, making us feel less tired. Breakfast isn't for everyone, and I acknowledge that. However, if you're someone who experiences chronic fatigue during the day and also skips breakfast, this might be the reason. Following a night of rest, we've been fasting for several hours while asleep. Therefore, upon waking up, we often find ourselves lacking in energy. Breaking the fast, from which the term breakfast derives, helps to jumpstart our day with some much needed fuel. Numerous studies have indicated that individuals who consume breakfast, particularly those with high fiber options, not only remain more alert throughout the day, but also experience enhancements in memory, mood, and even bowel movements. An intriguing study involving 498 students revealed that those who skipped breakfast were also more likely to report poorer sleep quality at night. Thus, consuming breakfast not only provides us with increased energy throughout the day, but may also contribute to improved sleep quality. It's a win-win. This is what I love about nutrition. It turns out that we can very strategically compose our meals to help us feel more alert during the day and to help us fall asleep and stay asleep better at night. So let's explore why that's the case, starting with proteins. A protein is made up of building blocks called amino acids, one of which is tryptophan. Tryptophan is transported to our brain where it's absorbed and converted to serotonin, which helps us feel good and calm. It is then further converted to melatonin, a hormone that helps our body prepare for sleep. Research has shown that people who sleep well tend to consume more protein throughout the day than those who sleep poorly. Notable plant-based sources of tryptophan include soy, nuts, and seeds, such as cashews, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds, beans, leafy greens, mushrooms, and broccoli. It's important to ensure that we get enough protein to obtain the tryptophan, but it's also worth noting that excessive protein intake has been linked with decreased sleep quality. So, there's no need to rely on protein powders as long as you're following a food-first approach. Now, let's explore carbohydrates in more detail. To simplify things, I've categorized them into two groups, slow digesting carbs and fast digesting carbs. Fast digesting carbs encompass foods like white bread, white pasta, and white rice, while slow-digesting carbs, rich in fiber, include whole grains, legumes, and vegetables. Fruits, however, offer a combination of both types. So, why is understanding this important? In essence, consuming fast-digesting carbs boosts the absorption of tryptophan into our brain, thereby increasing the likelihood of feeling drowsy after eating. Armed with this knowledge, we can leverage it to our advantage. For instance, in the evening, we can induce drowsiness a few hours after dinner by incorporating fast carbs into our meal or enjoying a piece of fruit either during dinner 
or as an evening snack, thereby enhancing the absorption of tryptophan into our brain. Conversely, if we aim to evade the post-lunch lethargy we sometimes encounter, we can opt for slow digesting carbs during our meal instead of fast digesting ones. Apart from being excellent sources of fiber, these slow digesting carbs offer a more consistent and sustained release of energy throughout the day. Being deficient in certain nutrients can significantly affect sleep. This is a finding supported by numerous research papers where individuals deficient in nutrients such as iron, magnesium, potassium, zinc, selenium, beta carotene, B vitamins, and vitamins C, E, and D tend to experience poorer sleep quality. These vitamins and minerals play crucial roles in various complex reactions within our bodies. For instance, iron aids in the production of serotonin, while B vitamins contribute to the creation of melatonin. However, it's not necessary to supplement with these nutrients unless specifically advised by a doctor. Our philosophy emphasizes a food-first approach. It's entirely feasible and recommended to obtain the necessary nutrients by consuming a diverse range of plant-based foods. So, we're going to take a brief intermission to share two different evening snacks that you can enjoy, which can actually help promote sleep. It's a great opportunity for us to put into practice what we've learned. Starting off with a simple banana and nut butter. Both bananas and almond butter contain tryptophan. When you combine that with the quick digesting carbs in the banana, the absorption of tryptophan in our brains is increased. Moreover, these are both high in magnesium and bananas are high in potassium, which are a couple of the minerals that we just previously talked about. Here's another option. Instead of having an evening tea that might contain caffeine, you could try some warm soy milk instead. This contains tryptophan, but also magnesium and calcium. If you prefer flavored milk, you could try our homemade golden latte mix. It's really delicious and makes for a comforting drink that also helps promote sleep. So, it's common knowledge that caffeine, primarily found in coffee, but also in energy drinks and tea, boosts alertness, correct? This is because it's a stimulant that temporarily reduces sleep pressure, which is the mechanism responsible for making us feel tired. Now, everyone is different, but for most adults, it takes the body about three to seven hours to metabolize half of the caffeine in our system, known as its half-life. Let's imagine we have our first cup of coffee at 9 a.m. Five hours later, at 2 p.m., half of that caffeine will still be present in our system. Then, another five hours later, at 7 p.m., a quarter of the caffeine from 9 a.m. will remain in our system. By midnight, only an eighth of that initial caffeine intake will still be circulating in our system. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Now that you grasp this concept, it may help understand why caffeine can exert a prolonged effect, even hours before bedtime. Therefore, it may be beneficial to bear in mind caffeine's half-life and consider consuming it early in the morning or early afternoon, while limiting intake later in the evening, if we desire a more restful night's sleep. Water constitutes approximately 55 to 75% of our body weight and plays a crucial role in numerous physiological reactions. However, many adults do not consume an adequate amount of water. Even mild dehydration, as indicated by research, can lead to symptoms such as fatigue, daytime sleepiness, mood changes, and a decline in cognitive performance. Therefore, if you frequently experience fatigue during the day, it may be helpful to assess your water intake. Some signs of dehydration include dry skin or lips or dark-colored urine. If you notice these signs, it serves as a reminder to increase your water consumption. Personally, I often forget to drink enough water, so it can be beneficial to keep a cup by your desk as a reminder or make drinking water more enjoyable by infusing it with fruit, cucumber, or mint, for instance. Nevertheless, a prevailing theme evident in numerous studies underscores the significance of including whole, plant-based foods in our diets and diversifying our choices as much as possible. This dietary approach not only promotes overall health, but also boosts energy levels throughout the day and improves the quality of sleep. May you enjoy a rejuvenating night's sleep and awaken to a day brimming with vitality and enthusiasm.
enriched by the insights gained from today's video. If you found the information beneficial, we would greatly appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up. Signing off as Passive Cash Flow. Until we meet again, take care.